All right, this is just a quick video. I upgraded my uh, wireless mic and uh, I also upgraded the uh, latest version of Raster Master to 3.7 and I compiled it under Lazarus 3.4. So that's the latest and everything seems to work just fine. Uh, the reason I upgraded Raster Master was because we had a panel here, the draw and erase uh, toggle that was in Windows 11. It would kind of be a little bigger and kind of be offset here. So I recentered everything and it seems to work fine under Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now it seems the fonts are sized in Windows 11. So depending on what resolution you pick for your screen, uh, they might be bigger and or smaller uh, than what you see here. Anyway, uh, it seems that the uh, Lazarus 3.4 is uh, uh, a little bit better in terms of handling everything. So when I compile everything under Windows 10 now, if you run it under uh, Windows 11, everything looks the same. Uh, for some reason before with uh, Windows 10, uh, some of the icons and some of the things didn't look uh, very much uh, the same as in Windows 11. So I had to do a lot of changes, but uh, it seems in the 3.4 a lot of things got corrected and everything just kind of works now. Uh, so let me just run it and uh, show you how the actual program uh, looks now. So here we go. Um, one other thing I had to change in uh, the most recent releases was the uh, display here for the coordinates. Um, using just the label was causing a, a lot of uh, repaints to happen in the uh, window area. For some reason, every time a label was changed, it forced a repaint and that caused a lot of flicker. And so I removed the labels and this is, a, uh, I think, a static bar. Let me see. What is this here? Uh, yeah, status bar status bar. So I had to change all the uh, labels to status bar to avoid the uh, repainting constantly. Uh, so if we go here to map editor we can see that everything looks alike and you should see something similar in Windows 11 except here the uh, the fonts will be a little bit bigger and um, so they won't look exactly the same but that's that's the reason for the change. Anyway, uh, just going to go over the basic features. You know, you can do, you know, simple drawing and everything. You can change the size. Uh, so a lot of people might not know this. You can select, you know, 64 by 64 or 32 by 32. You're not restricted to the 50, 256 by 256. Um, you, there are all kinds of uh, export options. So if you're using one of these programming languages, the built-in put or put image feature uh, works right out of the box. All you have to do is generate the code. Um, and the same thing for the other, like uh, Amiga C, Amiga Pascal, all that works in a similar way. Uh, check out the uh, example programs. Uh, and I've even added like uh, TMT Pascal, which is not as popular as Free Pascal, but like if you're doing anything in DOS, uh, 32-bit. Uh, uh, this actually works pretty good. Even the freeware version works pretty well. And I've also added Open Wadcom, which is, seems to be a, a popular alternative C compiler for DOS programming. So all that works in there. Like I, I've managed to use all the uh, the features uh, that I've supported in, in Turbo C and uh, Quick C. Uh, so everything kind of works now. If there is something missing, just send me an email or a comment and uh, I'll get to it. I know there's a lot of uh, things that haven't been explained properly, but if you're stuck on something, let me know. Um, the, uh, the script feature, that's, uh, that's one of the things that I'm going to correct at some point. Uh, I, don't, I don't think many people are using it, so I'm going to make a few more demos and uh, focus on that because it's really a way of extending a raster master to do a lot of things that it doesn't do out of the box so uh, with the right script you can support all kinds of output formats uh, so it supports creating files or opening files and you know it's very structured uh, it's very similar to standard pascal 
So if you know how to program in Pascal or even C, you can learn how to code things in uh, Pascal script. So everything um, important is here. I know there's a, a lot more I need to do in terms of exporting. I'm going to export to um, different kinds of uh, sprite sheets. So you can import sprite sheets now but uh, you can't export. So that's one of the features I plan on doing soon. Uh, that way you can use them in all kinds of uh, game programming languages that support uh, sprite sheets. So anyway, I think I rambled on. That's uh, as much as I can go. Anyway, this was more, more of a demo to test my mic and uh, just to show that things work in uh, Lazarus 3.4.